Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing um, a little bit of a restoration, like a makeover of an outdoor rug that I'm doing. I purchased an outdoor rug from Ocean State, I believe, Ocean State Job Lot, if any of you are familiar with that store. And I've had several rugs from them and I was looking to get a new rug and I saw the pricing just wasn't what I was willing to spend. So I decided to try something a little bit different, which I'm gonna get started on. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do and I'm hoping that it turns out great. I don't know what it's gonna be like. I've never spray painted a rug, but that's what I'm going to do to make over this outdoor rug. So I'm, I happen to be checking out some pictures online of some fashion and I saw this pair of pants and this inspired me for this rug. So. Here they are. So I'm gonna do the rug in this same um, color palette. I got all the spray paints I need. I'm pretty sure the colors are gonna be, the colors to me look like they match really well. But um, I'm going to spray paint the rug. I'll show you the rug and everything. But this is some primer that I'm gonna use on top for the first coat to cover everything and just let it be one solid base color. And then I'll go in with the spray paints. So I have all of those here and here are the colors. And the final thing I'm gonna do or what I'm thinking to do is to cover it with this clear gloss. All of these spray paints are by Rust-Oleum and just a nice clear gloss. It says seals protect and revitalizes so hopefully that gives it the coverage that it needs to be on our porch it's not going to be a rug that's going to be like trampled over a lot it's just going to be the centerpiece um inside in between some of our couches and we'll just be sitting around there it's not going to be a heavy traffic area so i'm hoping that this works and if you want to see how it all comes together then i hope you keep watching get another can of that off-white color because I ran out and I was actually supposed to go down even lower but I moved the tape up because I have pretty much I'm pretty sure I have enough for that yellow but I had to spray a lot to try to cover because I should have done two coats of primer but I didn't so I'm just gonna get another can of that but I'm gonna move on to the red Thank you. 
Okay, so here it is. And I'm going to get the second cans. And that's when I can probably blend it a little bit better. I want these three colors to blend a little bit more. Do a second coat, basically. So I'll do that next. I might use a layer of polyurethane maybe. Might be better. We shall so see. So when I went back to try to get more paint, I couldn't get the yellow, I couldn't find it. So I have another can of the other colors. What I'm gonna do is bring the green down a little bit more. I think, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna bring the white down a little bit further down over the yellow and then I'm gonna use the last little bit of what I have in the yellow can to go over the yellow. And then I'll go over the other colors and try to blend them a little bit smoother and then I'll be all done. And since these colors down here are not blending, I don't know, there's something about the blending and I think it's because the yellow is such a... Hello? So it's the bottom half that I need to make the change to. And um, I don't really like the blending. And since this was just an experimental project, I'm going to do something else to this. If it gets ruined or whatever, whatever, I don't mind because this was just a trial thing anyway. So what I'm gonna do is bring some more of the red up over the orange, cause I don't think it blends correctly. It's more like the red, it's orange fading into the red, but I want it to be more of an ombre look. So I have to bring some of that red up over the orange, but I wanted to spray it like sporadically. I'm hoping that I can make that effect. And then I have to do the same thing with the orange up over the yellow because these colors do not blend very well. This is a bright, brighter yellow and this is a bright orange. And again, we'll see how it looks. It's not a big deal. Just trying something out. But if this works, this will be a technique that someone else can use. So hopefully it looks good. Just a quick update to the project. The rug was looking perfectly fine until I put that glaze on it. The polyurethane it was very thick. So actually on the red part, it was patchy where you could see like a dullness to it. I tried to smooth it out and it didn't work. So I ended up having to spray paint over it in some sections just to make the red come back so it wasn't all dull. And now I'm not gonna use the polyurethane. So I am gonna go ahead and use this, this gloss clear gloss. I'm going to focus more so on the red section, but I'm going to spray as much as I can till the can runs out on this entire rug just to give it a nice finish and hopefully it blends together nicely. Again, I'm going to focus on the red part, easing my way up towards the green, and then I will show you the final result. And I do have just a little bit left in here, so once it dries, I'm going to move the couch and get underneath. This porch has been updated from what it was before a few years ago. It looked crazy and I did a little makeover so I'll link that below if you want to see it. And um, it's been through a couple of changes since that makeover. But this is of course the most recent update with the new rug. I knew I wanted to do something different in here and I got these pillows to bring out the bright orange in the rug. I got those from HomeSense and I'm using the same pillows that I had before 
and added this little love seat this was not here in the original makeover and then some other little changes i can't even remember what they all are but if you want to see that makeover video i have linked it below in the description box and i also linked the video where i updated this porch from the way it looked from a winter into the summer because over the winter it tends to get a little bit messy with just using it for storage random storage so this is the final video. The next thing I'm going to do is make a coffee table for out here. It's going to be a DIY coffee table, of course, and it's going to be hopefully made out of wood. So if you're interested, I hope you look out for that. It should be coming soon, but here I have a little um, plant section and way out there you can see the fire pit. We have to set up those chairs and make it look nice. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.